In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to set up Finn AI Copilot. It lives here in the right hand tab of the inbox. And for Finn to work, you need to make sure that it has some knowledge. Clicking here in the corner will bring you to the Knowledge Hub. Now, we have an entire Academy course dedicated to this section of the product with tips on how to manage and structure your content and knowledge. And you can take that here. Um, but in this lesson, I'm going to focus on the Finn AI Copilot tab only. Now let's quickly run through all the different types of content that you can give Finn. So first up is internal articles. This allows you to give Finn internal knowledge only usually available to you and your team. These can be sources like Guru, Notion or Confluence, or you can create internal articles within Intercom and have that as your main internal knowledge base. Then you've got conversations. Turning this on lets Finn AI Copilot use your team's past conversations and customer tickets from the last four months. Just make sure you pick exactly which teammates' conversations you want Finn to learn from, i.e. you might want to limit the options to your highest performing or most experienced teammates to ensure the best results. On to public articles then. This source shares public articles with Finn AI Copilot to help it find the best answers. This is a key source of knowledge you'll want to enable. Other than that, you can also let Finn learn from specific websites or specific web pages. Customers often sync their blogs so that Finn has more than just technical documentation on how you should do something, but also content that explains the value and the why of things. And lastly then, you've got snippets and PDFs. These let Finn learn from sources that aren't visible to your customers or available in your public help center. Snippets can be used for small pieces of information, while PDFs can be used to upload bigger text files. So a question we often get asked is how much content should you give Finn AI Copilot? Well, obviously more content means more coverage, as long as what you're adding is high quality. But as a general rule, if you're just starting out, it's a really good idea to give it access to your conversation history. So we really recommend syncing that. Or if you can't do that, use a combination of your internal and your public articles. This is gonna give Finn a ton of coverage. Or if you just wanna get started quickly and test it out, you can pick a few web pages as they're actually only gonna take a few minutes to sync and you can test out how it works. Now, once you've uploaded your content then, you can test it out. You'll find this button in the top corner, which will take you to the inbox. Pick any conversation, Open Finn AI Copilot and ask it some questions, making sure to check the sources to see which ones it uses to answer. Let's pause here for a second as there is one thing I want to make really clear about Finn AI Copilot. Finn doesn't magically get smarter or better just because your team uses it every day. The only way that Finn AI Copilot's answers will get better is if you update and improve the content it has access to. With the exception of the conversation source, of course, that's going to update automatically without any need for you to do anything. Okay, before we finish, there's two things left to cover off. In the corner, you saw how you could access knowledge management from here. You can also find reports about Finn AI Copilot here too, and we'll cover those later in this course. The other option is for managing who on your team has access. Let's take a look. At the top, you can toggle it on and off for your entire workspace. And if you click here, you'll see a list of teammates. You can use this column to manage exactly who has access and what type of access that they have. And please note that when you turn on Finn AI Copilot for your workspace, all teammates in that workspace will get access to limited usage, which is 10 free conversations a month. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the main things you need to be aware of when setting up Finn AI Copilot.